This PeopleSoft Spotlight series for Cloud Manager is based on Image 11. This video discusses using Cloud Manager for lifecycle management. Check out the Spotlight series page on the PeopleSoft Information Portal for other videos in this series. You can watch them in order or individually depending on where you are in your Cloud Manager implementation. In this video, we will demonstrate how Cloud Manager simplifies lifecycle management tasks on your provisioned environments. We will cover updating and upgrading your environment, backing up and restoring environments, as well as refreshing your environment or just the database in the environment. Cloud Manager automates setting up selective adoption and performing people tools updates and upgrades. We will start with setting up selective adoption. To set up selective adoption, provision the latest PUM image for your application. Select details for the PUM environment. For PUM full tier environments, the left panel includes manage PUM connections. Use the Add Target button to select the target environment. This action will add the target database definition in Change Assistant and upload the target database to the PUM image. The Upload Target to PUM Source will indicate in progress. Once the target is uploaded, this will display Complete. You can now log on to the PUM source. Navigate to Update Manager Dashboard. The target database has been uploaded. You can select the updates to apply to your database. Next, we will look at applying a PeopleTools patch to a target database. To apply a PeopleTools patch, select the details action for the environment. Then select Apply People Tools Patch. When you apply a People Tools Patch, any configuration changes made to the application server and process scheduler server, as well as certain web server config files, are preserved. This gives you one less thing to spend time on after the update. All People Tools Patches that have been downloaded to the repository are available. We will select the latest. By default, the Windows client to use for applying the patch is auto-selected. You have the option to select a different Windows client. Click Update to start applying the PeopleTools patch. The current status is displayed as a link. The first step in applying the PeopleTools patch is to shut down the domains. The environment status is applying PeopleTools patch. To check the progress of applying the patch, select Details and Apply PeopleTools patch. The status column displays the step that is currently running. To view the job status information, click on the status link. You can see the current job status as well as the job status log. When the patch is applied, the status will show completed. You can review the steps. If you have subscribed to a newer release of PeopleTools, you will be able to upgrade your PeopleTools release. Similar to applying a PeopleTools patch, if the target environment is on 8.57 or above, 
configurations made to the application server and process scheduler server are preserved during a PeopleTools upgrade. However, for a PeopleTools upgrade, the web server configurations are not preserved. The upgrade will redeploy the web server. To upgrade PeopleTools, select the details action for the environment, then select Upgrade PeopleTools. Select the PeopleTools version for the upgrade. All the PeopleTools versions in the repository are available. By default, the Windows client is auto-selected. You can select to use a different client. Note that the updated Change Assistant will be installed on the VM. Click Upgrade to start the upgrade process. You can view the upgrade process details, such as jobs executed successfully, jobs which are in pending status, and failed jobs. When the PeopleTools upgrade is complete, the environment will be running. You can review the job status information. Cloud Manager enables you to take a backup of all nodes in an environment and restore the environment from the existing backup. Before performing an upgrade, applying a patch, adding or removing nodes, you should take a backup of the environment. To backup an environment, select the Backup and Restore action for your environment. When you select the Backup and Restore at the first time, the environment components are displayed. If the environment has a DB system, you have the option to backup the database. After entering the backup name, click Backup. Note that the environment will remain running during the backup. To check on the status of the backup, select the Backup and Restore action again. The backup starts as creating and then will be in progress. Make sure that the backup is complete before performing additional maintenance on the environment. If you need to restore the environment from a backup, select Backup and Restore. Choose which backup to use and then click the Restore button. This will overwrite all the data on the target instance. The environment status is listed as restoring. Your target instance is not available during the restore process. Only one instance at a time can be restored on a target instance. When the restore is complete, the environment will show running. Cloud Manager provides the ability to refresh DB system environments from another cloud instance or from on-premise to cloud. We will look at both use cases. When you choose to refresh, you can refresh the environment including PS Home and PS App Home and the database or just the database. First, we will look at an example of a cloud-to-cloud -cloud refresh. To refresh from another cloud instance, the source and target database must be on the same version. For example, you have a development and a test environment in Cloud Manager and want to refresh the test database from the development environment. First, backup the source environment in Cloud Manager. This backup will reside in OCI. Select the Refresh action.
Refresh supports backups in the Object Store or OCI Backup. To refresh from another cloud instance, select the OCI Backup. Select the environment to refresh from. Select the backup ID or enter yes to use the latest backup. To refresh the application PS Home and PS Custom, select yes for the app refresh. Select no for a database only refresh. In the other details section, you need to enter the source TDE Keystore Wallet password. This is the same as the database administrator password. You also have the option to run pre or post custom scripts. The advanced section contains the target middle tier DMS path and file server app DPK location. Select Done to start the refresh. Note that this action will drop the database system and create a new one. The environment status will be refreshing. When the refresh is complete, the environment will be running. When you select Refresh, you can see the refresh is complete. Now we will look at the second use case. When you migrate an on-premise environment to cloud, the application DPKs are uploaded to Object Store. Typically, you would refresh from the Object Store during the migration cut over to cloud. Select Refresh for the environment. We will add a new refresh. The source type is Object Store. Enter the compartment and bucket where the on-premise DPKs were uploaded. You have the option to refresh the environment, including PS App Home, PS Custom, and Database, or just the database from a backup. To include PS App Home and PS Custom in the refresh, select the application refresh name. This is the name of the application DPK. Leave this field blank for a database only refresh. We will do a database only refresh. You need to have the OCI auth token and RMAN backup password in order to perform the refresh. Enter the OCI auth token of the username defined in the Cloud Manager Settings page, Infrastructure Settings, User and Signing Keys section. Enter the source PDB name, source DBID, and the source RMAN backup password. Once all of the values are entered, Click Done and Submit. The environment will display refreshing. Select Details, Provision, Task Status to monitor the refresh progress. All domains are stopped on the Linux host. The Cloud Folder Sync activity is complete. The database refresh is currently in progress. When the refresh is complete, you can review the refresh history.
For additional information, you can access these resources for PeopleSoft Cloud Manager. The Cloud Manager homepage on MyOracle support includes installation and implementation information, as well as additional resources for your environment. View Cloud Manager in the PeopleSoft Information Portal and go to the PeopleSoft Technology Blogs to get the latest updates about Cloud Manager. Go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure documentation for information about OCI services and features. Thank you.